Washington. Rep. Ken Buck has had enough. When the Colorado Republican announced last week that he would not seek re-election, he began criticizing Democratic policies. Standard fare for a hard-line conservative. But Buck then turned ire on his fellow Republicans, spending most three-minute announcement video accusing them of being obsessively fixated on vengeance and retribution for trumped-up injustices the past Buck's scorched earth approach surprised. Few on Capitol Hill, with his cool demeanor, independent demeanor and background as a federal prosecutor, Buck rose to national prominence as a House Republican fed up with Donald Trump's lies about the 2020 presidential election, in which he lost to Democrat Joe Biden and Trump's allies in Congress. It's a stance few in the GOP have taken. And it's a remarkable turnaround that shows how deeply Trump's once fringe lies about race have become entrenched in the Republican mainstream. Buck appears regularly on channels like CNN and will likely be a significant obstacle for Republicans in his final months in office, as he has no plans to leave Congress before the end of his term. His political heresy extends to the impeachment inquiry into Biden which Buck dismissed as unfounded. Our nation is on a collision course with reality, and staying true to truth, even uncomfortable truths, is the only way forward, Buck said in video. But under political pressure in Colorado, Buck decided it was not possible to advance himself in Congress. Trump celebrated Buck's impending departure saying on social media that the congressman knew long ago he could never win against MAGA. So now he's auditioning for a television job past and present. MAGA is an acronym for Trump's 2016 campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. Buck is not the first GOP lawmaker to leave Capitol Hill in frustration in recent years. But unlike other outspoken House Republicans who alienated colleagues before leaving office, such as former reps, Liz Cheney Wyoming or Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, Buck comes from the Ferrite House Freedom Caucus, placing him at the center conservatives. Almost every week, Buck leaves the Capitol complex to attend board meetings where lawmakers strategize on how to disrupt business as usual in Washington. He has proposed major budget cuts, strict enforcement against TikTok and cuts to educational materials that teach that slavery played a central role in the founding of the country. Buck was also among eight Republicans who voted to impeach Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf. He accused her as speaker of failing to fulfill her promise to cut spending. The critical issue for me is bending the spending curve. And you do that with institutional changes, Buck told the Associated Press in September. No one is willing to change this place. While Buck aggressively pushed policy to right during his five terms in House, he has also resisted what he calls populist trend in party that risen with Trump. Can I?